Hello and uh, welcome back to my wild garden. Uh, now some of you may remember or may have seen a few weeks ago I posted a short video of a, a hornet nest I found in, in my garden in a, in a haystack, a kind of pile of long grass that I cut last summer uh, and left there as a wildlife habitat. I, partly I left it there in the hope that bumblebees would nest in it but uh, ended up with hornets instead. Anyway since the last video, um, we, the, uh, I think a badger maybe has tried to get into the nest. It's certainly part of the haystack seems to have collapsed. And we can now see some of the nest itself and it's kind of cool. So let me, let me show you. So... So a hole on the right, one just went in, which is what we looked at last time. But you can see on the left here, that and now I'm going to creep in and try and get quite close. Um, they're normally quite placid critters, but uh, I still want to be slightly careful. So hornets, like other wasps, hornets are basically just... Uh, big wasps. Um, uh, they make their nest from paper mache, so uh, what you can see there um, is a wall of uh, a paper mache. So the, the workers, they go off and, um, and chew at uh, dead wood or, or the timbers of my house or my picnic chairs or whatever they fancy uh, to make it and mix the chewed wood with saliva. Uh, and then regurgitated as a kind of a paper mache structure. So inside there, there'll be a complex series of layers um, with the hexagonal cells, all made from paper mache. Uh, uh, and then they, they make a ball around those cells with several layers of paper mache to keep the nest insulated and uh, uh, cool in summer and uh, warm in spring when it's cold. Um, it's quite fascinating watching them. They're, they're mainly using that one hole. You can see a few heads poking out. But they're also exiting through a hole on the bottom left of the nest. And if you look, look there's one just coming out. Every hornet coming out on the bottom left is carrying something. And I'm, I'm puzzling over what it is. It's hard to see because they don't hang around. Uh, there's one coming now with it. I think they're excavating um, from the regularity of what they're doing. I think they're, they're make, basically making the cavity bigger by carting out bits of hay. But uh, uh, I'm not entirely sure. I have no idea how many are in there. Probably a few hundred workers. These are all daughters, of course, of the Queen. So this nest was founded by a Queen in the spring um, on her own and she then rears uh, daughter workers which uh, develop from fertilized eggs uh, and they then take over so the queen will still be in there the workers once she has them take over foraging for food um, which is mainly insect prey that they feed to the offspring so baby wasps the maggots inside are carnivores um, and the food, the, the, their food is gathered by the workers. But then the, the grubs themselves regurgitate um, uh, sugary liquid as a reward to the workers for feeding them, and that's what the workers mainly eat. Getting slightly wary because there was one just trying to land on my head. Um, yeah, anyway, yeah, sorry, sorry for the silence, just, just slightly distracted by the, the hornet perching on my right ear. Um, uh, so, where was I? Um, uh, yeah, so the, she, she rears workers that take over all the work, and then any time now, the nest will produce males and young queens. It's very like a bumblebee nest in terms of its timing. 
Uh, eventually this nest will die at the end of summer, but the young queen hornets, who are formidable looking creatures, uh, and um, the males will mate and the young queens will hibernate until next spring. Okay, I think we've probably seen enough. I'll leave them in peace. Thank you for not stinging me, girls. I'll move slowly so as not to get stung in the process. Uh, we'll leave it there, I think. Um, Yes, well thank you for tuning in. Uh, wish me luck in extricating myself from the cloud of hornets I'm currently surrounded by. Uh, until next time, goodbye.